my name. It's really exciting. We've got some wild sea bass. We've got some beautiful wild sea bass here. What we've done is we've just taken the fillet off of it. Yeah. And what we're going to do is uh, cure it. Okay. So we're going to cure it in some Camden pale ale, some sea salt and some sugar. In pale ale, in, you're going to cure the fish in beer? In beer. Ah, cool. Okay, so in here we've got 600 grams of sea salt, 400 grams of sugar, and we're just going to sort of cover the fish up in it. Uh -huh. Pour a little bit of the beer on there as well. About 570 mils of beer. Normally this would be a whole fish, but we're just doing one fillet today. And then we're just going to wrap it up. Yeah. Beer, sea salt, salt sugar. And sugar. That is it, as okay. simple as it gets. Six hours. What happens if you leave it for more than six hours? Six hours, the fish can, because it's quite a thin fillet, yeah. the fish will start to dry out a little bit too much, it'll be a little bit too dry. So yeah, about six hours. Okay, so this is the, we've got the apple here, lime, a bit of beetroot, some lovely fresh horseradish, some shallot. We're just going to make a very simple sort of relish coleslaw that's going to go with the sea bass. Okay, so what we've done is we've just taken all those ingredients, we've just cut the carrot and the beetroot into little julienne. We've just sliced the shallot nice and thinly. We're just going to grate a little bit of the lime onto there. We've already grated a little bit of horseradish in there as well. We're just going to put a little bit of the lime juice and then just mix it, bind it all together with a little bit of mayonnaise and some olive oil. Season it up and then that's all ready to go. This has been uh, curing for about six hours. So as you can see, it's got a nice shine to it. It's still fairly firm and all we've done is just literally slight angle nice little slices i reckon one fillet will, will do uh, two portions but you'll be able to see that in the custard anyway uh well, you know, i just saw when you were cutting the fish then you started at the tail end and you worked your way up to the head yeah uh, it's, it's just so that yeah you get that you get those nice slices all the even slices all the way along and it goes lovely with the grain of the fish so uh, the grain of the fish, it'll be better to eat. You start from the head, start, sorry, start from the tail. Start from the, the tail head. and work your way back up. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. great tip. So nice one. it gets thicker in the middle. Uh -huh. And then all we're going to do is put a little, we just said a little bit of mayonnaise to the, the coleslaw, uh -huh. a little bit of uh, parsley in there as well, just seasoned it up. We literally, just a little bit of that on there. And we're just going to garnish it with a couple of leaves of coriander. Nice to see, so micro herbs, bueno? Uh, micro herbs you could use, but I think, like, yeah, for this, it's, it's just, nice. it's just nice very choice. simple. A couple of leaves of the coriander, and then a little, little, just Pressing a little squeeze of lime juice, and that's oh. that's pretty much it. You can put a pinch of black pepper on if you wanted to as well, just to finish it off. It's entirely up to you, but that's it. The wild sea bass cured in Camden Pale Ale <laughs> with your beetroot and apple slaw. Beautiful. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Oh, fantastic. Thanks, Wayne.